Hello, welcome. This video is in uh, continuation of the previous video in which we talked about creating a detail and adding some detail components. In this video we're going to add some additional detail components and annotation to this detail and uh, take a look at it. So let's clean this up a little bit and I didn't explain this in the last video but uh, in regard to these break lines which are detail components and we're going to go ahead and clean this up so it's just like right there in the middle. Um, if you wanted to, uh, to when you're installing those break lines if you press the space bar it allows those brake lines to rotate around and flip from side to side. You might find that useful when you're, uh, when you're putting these in. So let's go ahead and put in some details. We're going to put in some lumber sections. So if you go to uh, annotate, go down again to uh, detail component. Uh, we want to go ahead and load a family. And this is going to be um, under uh, detail components again. And we want to go to the specific div uh, division which is going to be wood and plastic. Which sounds not really quite specific what we're looking for, but as soon as we get in here, there's a section 061100 wood framing that we want to go into. If you click in any of these uh, buttons up here, it kind of gives you a preview of what you're looking at. What we're looking at is nominal cut lumber, like a 2x4, rather than a real 2x4. It gets uh, uh, planed down to 3.5 inches by 1.5 inches. And we want to get a section as opposed to a side or a top view. So let's go ahead and uh, go to nominal cut lumber in the section. What it does is it takes us to an additional screen, and we're going to pick the lumber that we want. Now this is a two by four wall, and it's really three and a half inches by one and a half inches, which is this over here, or just a regular nominal two by four. So if you just click on that and go to OK, it gives us that uh, detail component that we want to use. And uh, again with the spacebar, just like we did with uh, the brake line, if you click on that, it spins it around. Try to jump it into place and you'll notice that it does go in there in the bottom. And if you do that right you'll probably get that uh, that um, that padlock that will allow you to lock it into place. And that looks good. So with this uh, 2x4 I'm going to make uh, probably a fire stop about halfway up the wall. And uh, I probably want to have that off the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and click on that uh, end uh, button on the dimension so it uh, moves around a little bit and then move this so it uh, moves around it probably about four feet I think would be okay and if you don't get the right dimension in here you can always change it here by just clicking on the dimension once once you get into that uh, into that element so that's four this is going to be three and a half or three foot ten inches we're going to make that four two and so that uh, uh, listening dimension disappears, the temporary dens dimension disappears, but the more permanent one stays. That's going to be sort of a, a part of our annotation we're going to be using in order to describe some of the elements within this detail. Something else we want to, might, might want to do uh, before we go on, let's, let's get rid of this pad. This pad is kind of in the way if we uh, go to hide in view, hide dead elements. It only hides it in this view and I think we're okay. And if we do that, we still have some stuff back here and I think that's probably um, that's probably our topography. So we're going to go ahead and hide that too. And we're going to pick this up probably in the next film and show you how we're going to do some uh, some drafting on top of that. So we're going to hide that element. So all we have here is really just our concrete uh, slabs and our, our wall plus the detail components we've put in here so far. Alright, so let's go ahead and put in some insulation. This is really fun. It's really quick. It's already on the annotate tab. We don't have to insert this. And it's a linear function in here, so all we have to do is click on the bottom of that insulation, go up to this top, and go from that top all the way up through the end of the model. And if you do that, you notice that the insulation, insulation kind of sticks out there. We have the ability to order some of the detailed components we've been in here, so we definitely want this brake line in front of the insulation. And the insulation is in front of the model that's behind it, so we can go ahead and order this. So we're going to bring that brake line up front. So bring the front, or bring forward. Right, let's try that again. Let's bring it all the way to the front. And that should uh, get rid of it. And got a little bit of the insulation back there. We can correct that by taking our brake line and moving it up just a little bit more. Okay, that's, that's, that's it so far. But uh, let's add some text before we leave this. If we go to the text button on, uh, on the annotate toolbar. And if you hit on that and go to the one with the double dog leg. We're going to uh, or the double leader line. Well, with the dog leg in it, we're going to add some uh, uh, dimension or add some uh, annotations to this. So what we like to do is call this acoustic insulation, so that the factory floor is uh, so that the office is uh, insulated from the factory floor. 
And you notice that the text is really big, and it also said the text is out of bounds. So let's go ahead and correct that. Where we uh, show our, uh, our, our boundaries here, our uh, crop sections, there's actually two crop sections in here. We have an inside and outside. The inside one is for the, the view, and the outside one, just to control it a little bit better, is for our annotation. So if we pull this out far enough, we'll be able to pick up that annotation we just put in, that uh, note we just put in. And once we do that, we can hide it. So that's it so far. In our next video, we're going to add some, uh, some drafting elements to this. And we're also going to reduce our text size down to where it should be. So stay tuned.